Well, good morning. I don't know if you can see anything in the picture, but I'm just making my way to the start. Get the control stamp. Start Paris Best Paris 2019. All wrapped up warm this morning. Arm warmers on. Neck buff. It's been pretty cold. I made it to the second control, which is um, Villiers de Jules, something like that. It's been an emotional ride for the last 10k. The wind's just been getting up. We've done about 200 kilometres headwind all the way. It's about another 400 kilometres to go. Um, yeah, difficult to say the least. Very, very testing. So it's about 395 kilometres to press now. It can't come soon enough. Well, I'm here at the 4 uh, control stop. Just about to go into the uh, overnight period. It is close to 9 o'clock. So, yeah, it's time to get the lights on. Just had, uh, well, just been to the restaurant, had something to eat, I'm starving. Burn off 10,000 calories so far. So it's looking like 40,000 calories by the end of this ride, which is incredible, really. So, uh, yeah, so you might not be able to see anything until the morning. Well, hello and good morning. It's my second day. Yeah, at PVP, I've just left my sleep stop. the generosity of the French. Help yourself. We've got wine, beer, water. How's, how's your ride going? Oh, last night, coming into Ludia took forever. Like just, you know, when I could stay away, it was fast enough. Just couldn't stay away. Kept stopping. I, oh, this, this sounds pretty much like my experience. I was, um, people I was riding with, they were stopping at either um, that one before with the queue, Cadillac I call it, oh, yeah. and there's another one as well, um, Cadillac, that's right, yeah, so uh, the people I'd be riding with left me and um, it was really hard to soldier on to Ludiac. Hello folks, I'm at the bridge at Brest, quick 360, that side and the other side, 
<laughs> finally made it to Brest. Um, I'm just recording this on my phone because I've got to quickly head over to uh, to check in and the battery is low on the GoPro and I don't want to have to f about swap the battery just here at this moment. So uh, I'm going to get hard stamped and then I'm going to do some more video over there and get those batteries changed. But, oh wow. I'm ecstatic. Finally here. Just another 600 to do. <laughs> So I'm just through, heading through Brest now, back east. Towards Paris and round the Rye. Next control is 83 kilometers away. Six hours to get there.
Well, hello folks, as you can see, I'm no longer in the countryside, I'm no longer on the bike. This Friday PPP is over, and I can't even remember where I left you, but uh, basically, I did it, <laughs> I finished. Um, 82 hours and 41 minutes was my finishing time. Um, yeah, so it was really fantastic, and the reason why, well, I left you here, I left you, it's because time was of the essence, so uh, that's what I was concentrating on. I was forever, after about halfway, I was forever trying to chase it, because the first half, uh, the strong headwinds, I mean, uh, that was experiencing in the first 200 kilometres, 600 kilometres, um, well, in the first 200 kilometres, I was nearly uh, full out quitting, because I was so uh, de sort of depleted, um, started thinking negative thoughts, so... Uh, yeah, but as you can see, I'm elated. I managed to get all the way through that and uh, continued for the, uh, wow, the last 1,000 kilometres. So, yeah, I can't, as I, said, I can't remember where I last left you, but uh, like I say, there's just so many amazing sights throughout the, throughout the uh, ride, really. The magnificence of getting to the bridge at Brest do seem quite negative sometimes, but it... The realization that you're only halfway is uh, quite something, you know, when you've got your face with all the distance head. So anyway, you might be able to tell I'm actually still quite tired. It's actually Friday afternoon. Um, I got up about eight o'clock. I've had a, I've loads of sleep. I've been out to a, a local restaurant, Buffalo Grills, and had a massive meal there. And I probably ate too much really. I had a quick walk around town, uh, supermarket, because. I need to get a few bits for tomorrow when I'll be heading back again. Um, I'll be heading to Amiens. Uh, it's about 170 miles away from here. Um, so I need to get there. Well, any point tomorrow at least. There's another chain hotel like this one. Late checkers are, you know, perfectly fine. And on Sunday morning, I will cycle to the train station and uh, well, catch the train to uh, Calais. And I get the ferry back to Britain from there. What's next for me? Um, London, Edinburgh, London, that's for sure. Definitely sounds appealing now. Now I know I can do PVP. Uh, now I know that I can do that sort of distance. It makes rides like uh, PVP, Transcon, LEL, TCR, I think that's the one. It makes those a bit more realistic. Well, I think some of those are um, like races, as in a lot more pacey like. I need to have a look really and um, find out about each of them. Apart from LEL, of course, uh, which is regular Ordax. And it's going to be 1500 kilometres in 2021. So, 2021. So, uh, yeah, that is it's an extra 300 kilometres on top of this. Wow. Earlier today I was playing around as a bit of an Instagram live and one of the questions I was asked on there was is there anything I wished I'd taken along with me and I couldn't answer at the time but um, yeah I probably should have taken like an emergency blanket uh, just in case because there was one stage um, Mon I can't even pronounce it right Montagne De Lurchi, something like that it's probably just massive for that name and it was it was it, it was the third night and everybody was tired. Everybody who was still riding was tired. Uh, and there were people collapsing and literally just jumping off the bike and <laughs> setting up camp, so, so to speak, down, down the side of the road. And there was loads of uh, people with uh, blankets. And, you know, you'd be cycling past and you only suddenly heard a rustling in the bushes. And there'd be a person who'd slip out fast, fast asleep in the bushes just found themselves somewhere to hide and uh, yeah really weird so I mean if I if I was if I had a puncher or a big mechanical uh, I would have been freezing out there because it was not very warm so yeah if that in answer to that question what would I take next time a uh, emergency blanket definitely yeah, I'm just going to finish this uh, video off by saying my time was 82 hours and 41 minutes so uh, yeah I was able to go for uh, sub 80 at one point in the ride, but uh, it soon became apparent that I'd been enjoying myself far too much on the control stops, so it wasn't feasible. Well folks, there she is, the good old cube. 
she is ready, packed away. Tomorrow, heading back to Amiens to stay over one more night. So, here's my interesting arrangement on the front of the bike. Baguettes, baguette holder. <laughs> Once that's been eaten, that'll be replaced with a sandal holder. See, I've got my new one still, I'm leaving that on. I want to keep that, so I might as well leave it on there.